my name is Paul and welcome back to my garage. Today we're going to be splitting some more firewood. I've got some big firewood rounds. They're measuring between 25 to 30 inches in diameter. They're going to be a lot bigger than what my little log splitters spec to do. Um, but with having the, the dual blade, you know, we should be okay to kind of start a split in the log and we'll rotate the log and keep splitting and until we get it broken down into smaller pieces basically. So um, yeah, it's pretty cold today. I don't think I'm going to waste any more time standing about anyway. Let's get it done. Okay, so we're back inside now, and what conclusions can we draw from that? So uh, they were pretty big, big rounds of firewood to try and split um, with a little seven ton machine. I haven't said that, I think it's it's obvious enough. The machine has the power to, to split through it. Obviously the, the wage isn't big enough to completely split the round, but it has enough power to completely split open the round, and as I said before, to rotate the round and, and keep keep splitting until we get it down to module pieces. Um, you will see there was a, quite a bit of struggle, there was quite a few knots in that, in that particular round. Uh, a lot of it was quite quite a struggle. 
Um, I'm new to using the splitter, I've only recently got it and I haven't put a lot of wood through it. So, um, you know, eventually it dawned on me to use a second piece of firewood to, to help me split something with a big knot on it. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, the ram on the splitter is adjustable, so I had it set, I think, at about 10 and a half inches, so it's leaving me a bit of space so I can put a piece of firewood that's cut to nine inches in, uh, no problems. Um, so uh, eventually it dawned on me that if I release the ram to, co to go back further to allow me to put two pieces in, the second piece will push the first knotted piece through the wedge. Um, so like I say, it took a while to, for that to actually dawn on me. <laughs> but um, there you go, you learn something new every day and all that. I have to say, it would be nice to have some some nice straight grain pieces. Um, I think if you got a good straight trunk of a tree and had it cut up into rounds, I think it would split obviously a lot better. Um, and especially if it wasn't quite as big as those uh, rounds I was splitting, as I say, minimum 25 inches and some places end up to 30 inches so pretty big also i really shouldn't have been handled them on my own uh, i had to actually use had to roll the log down towards the splitter and then realized i couldn't actually lift it by myself so um, it was kind of getting my knee under it and kind of lever it up onto onto the splitter so i suppose in one way you can always find a way to do things by yourself but it's probably not the best for your for your back and, and all that. Um, so definitely, I think getting a hand from somebody else to lift it on would, would have been advisable. But nonetheless, we're safe and well after all that. Um, so yeah, I've still got a lot more to put through the wee splitter there, but so far, so good. It's worked perfectly for me. I, I can't fault it. As I say, the only problem being with the knots, but the splitter clearly has the power, to, you know, to deal with it. It's more a case. Um, I suppose we own an experience operating them. So we'll uh, cut this one short at that and um, we'll be see you on the next video. Thanks.